news tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. Not a bad day today. I know some of you, many of you likely, probably wishing that you saw a little bit more rain. We had soaking showers and they landed exactly where we expected, especially south and east of Grand Rapids. But unfortunately, some spots only picked up about a trace of this line that's rolling through. Let's show you where it is now. It's moving out right on track and in its wake, we're seeing Grand Haven with areas of fog. So if you live along the lake shore, dense fog possible for the next couple of hours. Water temperatures over Lake Michigan sitting in the 40s at this point in time and our air temperature are changing. That's one of the reasons why we have this uh, formation of fog. So if we look at temperatures right now, you can see that we're sitting at 66 in Grand Rapids, 64 in Allegan, 62 in Coldwater, where it's still currently raining. In general, landing where we expected for the day today. And then as we look at Storm Track Live, you can see that the showers are exiting out. Again, a few downpours have formed within the line, but earlier as this line was passing through Ottawa County, Northern Kent County, Mount Calm County, some rain, just not a ton. All right, let's take a look at satellite imagery. You can see that we have some uh, cloud clearing that's taking place. And this is going to continue to happen. If you look out the window, you'll notice that we still have wildfire smoke. Tomorrow, I think we'll get a break in the wildfire smoke and then even more spins on in. So even though we have a lot of sunshine in the forecast, it might actually look overcast as we get into Sunday or Monday, just because we continue to see the smoke trickle down into a good portion of the nation. Some uh, legitimate clouds as well. We have some atmospheric clouds that are spinning close to Green Bay. That will swing in tonight and tomorrow early, but for a good portion of Saturday, we're expecting sunshine. Here are our county by county lows, dropping down into the mid 40s tonight, still touch on the breezy side, mid 40s for a lot of spots like Rockford, Lowell, Ionia, but Big Rapids Lakeview should land in the low 40s. Schoolcraft, Battle Creek, Coldwater also 44 to 46 degrees. And your future cast tonight shows that we have the cloud deck that's currently over Wisconsin swinging in. That should be around by tomorrow morning. So tomorrow likely waking up to a bit of cloud cover through the day, the clouds break. And again, I think tomorrow we might actually get a brief break in the wildfire smoke before smokiness starts to slide back in for us potentially Sunday and Monday. Here's eight day forecast. You can see Monday, 75 degrees. Then we really quickly ramp up into the 80s. Wednesday, 80 degrees. Thursday, uh, slightly cooler, but still 75 warmer than average before we enter into the holiday weekend which as we've been mentioning, we've been expecting a warming trend. That really still looks like it's going to hold. So a little bit of a 180 here from what we've experienced with the cooler than average temperatures. We're gonna jump back into the 80s. Yeah. Wow, okay, Yeah. big turnaround. Ellen, thank awesome. you.